Okay, guys. This is the aftermath of me moving out everything, including the stuff that was in my closet and the craft room that is. So this is the aftermath. And the main reason, of course, that I'm showing you this is to show you how in the H are we going to organize all this mess. But you saw how the craft room was before, so how it was stacked in there, it was unusable anyway. Well, at least to get to it right away if I wanted to start a project. That's the main reason, reasoning why I am um, organizing and redoing my whole craft room to make it accessible when I need the materials. But y'all, this is it. Okay guys, how am I going to tackle this huge project of organizing all the mess? Okay, I'm glad you asked. One way I'm going to tackle it is using these organization bins or whatever you want to call it. The pink one, or well, both of them I got from Walmart. The pink one was $4 and some change and the white ones were only 96 cents guys. Now they're not advertised as organizing bins. They actually are, what does that say? I don't even know what it say. Maybe it don't say, but they're like, I think dishwashing tubs or something to see it. I didn't give a flip what it said. It was a perfect size to hold, you know, a nice amount of my materials to organize my whole craft room or whatever. And I think 10 might be too many, but I'd rather have too many and not enough. So these are some storage containers that I am going to use. Okay, now back to this mess. Along this wall are my packages that are going um, in the garage. And some is just plain on trash. This is material which will be going into the garage as well. And so many items, I just have not organized and I don't know which uh, place I want to put it in. But over here, as you can see, in those nice white um, containers I bought from Walmart for 96 cents. Yeah, 96 cents. I've already started organizing um, some of the stuff. So like I have uh, one for like sewing items, a hole punch of any form. This would be like my jewelry making. This is like whatever, I really don't have a category. This is for embossing. This is for, what is this? Oh, for tassel making. Of course, duct tape. And then this is like party accessories whatever you want to call it so it's always wise to have at least a general idea of you know the categories or however you want to place your items so you know um, what goes with what for example like my tassel being it's like you want all the materials that would be used to make a tassel it might be cross-referenced with your yarn as you see in this nicely, this nice pile. But if that's going to be the particular yarn or material that you're going to use for your tassel, put it all in one bin. Well, at least I am. Then that way, when I'm ready to do that particular project, all my materials is in one container without me having to like, okay, where's this at, that at, and whatever. So that's how I decided to group my items. As, far, as well as like the embossing um, items. I put the powder, the gun, stencil, anything that's going to be used for an uh, embossing pro project. So you get kind of the deal. So the next item on the list to do, other than to clean the rest of this mess up and put it in some form of container, is to label the containers. And that's what we're going to do next. Okay, for my labels, I decided to use 
um, these clear mailing labels, which I got from a thrift store for only two dollars and fifty cents. But um, all right, focus. But I decided this would be a nice size, and regardless of what color the item is, it'll show up hopefully, <laughs> and not be too big. And I'm able to, you know, place it on the container or the item or what have you. Now, I was going to get those nice, like those bread, whatever, not brads, but y'all know like them placement holder label things that you could slide the paper in. I was going to go that direction, but number one, I couldn't find them. And number two, that's just an extra added expense. So I'm trying to stay as low budget as possible. And I already have this material. So if it don't work out, hey, I could easily take it off and then try something else. But for now, I feel with um, 2,000 labels and even with the disco discounted price I got at the thrift store, these are not that expensive at the store in my opinion. And I'll show you once I uh, printed it out and show you exactly how they look on the items. Okay guys, just wanted to show you the template that I use for my labels. And it's real simple guys. I This particular label brand is Avery. So I just went to Avery.com, typed in that number. Uh, along with the name which is clear labels mailing labels and it will pull up the template to use for your labels and you just simply type in the words that you want to pick up here on each label and ta-da you're finished now all you have to do is print them out as you can see it printed on the paper nicely can't see obviously because it's clear but um, I just wanted to show you how nicely and bold it printed out. And it's simple, guys. Real simple. And there you have it. Try to center it as best as you can. Y'all, me and my centering is not the best, okay? But you get the gist. And if it's not properly placed, all you gotta do is unstick it and restick it. And as you see, it's my it's a foil. And that's where all my fall is located. Awesome, guys. So, simple, easy, and you can read it. Okay, guys. Another organization tool or item that I chose to use was this shoe um, hanging rack or whatever you call it. Okay guys, I purchased this from Walmart for under $5. And I saw other YouTubers um, use it for their spray cans. I'm like, oh my God, that's awesome. So as you see, I got like 100 spray cans up in this mug already and it's so handy it puts you know you put all your cans in there it um, it's like almost a perfect fit yeah, as you see I have other items I have pins and my glue ruler and so on and so forth so you could put anything in there guys it hangs nicely on your door and it stores it away without you having a, a fuss and fight like, oh my God, do I have enough this and that? You can look at your inventory real quick and easy. So I thought that was an awesome tip, guys. So for sure I used it. And I'm gonna show you, close the door with no problem. la -da! And you're finished. Awesome, guys, just awesome. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I will see you guys next Friday.